Majority of Wisconsin congressional delegation opposed President Trump's push to get Congress to challenge the election results. But what happened yesterday had one congressman visibly moved to say enough was enough. Was an extraordinary post by a member of Congress that has 840,000 views and counting on Twitter. This is banana republic crap that we're watching happen right now. Republican Congressman Mike Gallagher, an Iraq War veteran, forced to shelter in his congressional office, calling out the President of the United States. Call it off. The election is over. Call it off. This is bigger than you. It's bigger than any member of Congress. It is about the United States of America, which is more important than any politician. Call it off. It's over. President Trump did take to Twitter to tell protesters go home. He did not call off Republican objectors to challenge the Electoral College vote. Two Wisconsin congressmen, Republicans Tom Tiffany and newly elected Scott Fitzgerald, did vote to object to results in Arizona and Pennsylvania, but not Wisconsin. Before the vote, Fitzgerald said, quote, it is my hope that the House will soon resume debate on the electoral ballots in order to uphold our constitutional responsibility. The effort by objectors ultimately failed and Congress did certify Joe Biden's victory. Gallagher is the first to admit he's disappointed his party did not win the presidency, but he didn't support efforts to overturn the electoral college vote. He says it's time for everyone to transition to a peaceful transfer of power. Our rights do not depend on the party in power. America can survive. We must emerge from this stronger, and we need to take a step back from the, uh, from the brink here. Now, within the last hour, Senator Tammy Baldwin released this statement, quote, I joined the bipartisan calls for Vice President Pence to invoke the 25th Amendment so that the American people can have confidence that there will be a peaceful transition of power in the few remaining days of this disgraceful and dangerous presidency.